Unreal Engine 5.3 just dropped and this update is going to be beyond massive for Ashes of Creation. Intrepid took to upgrading 5.1 at the beginning of the year, which introduced a lot of graphical and performance bugs to the game, which you can still see in these streams today, as Intrepid has not yet made the journey to progress to 5.2, which should fix a lot of these bugs. But now there is even more reason for them to make this upgrade. But it also means adapting Unreal Engine 5.3, which will really help Ashes of Creation reinvent the genre. The biggest of this 5.3 update applies to Nanite. For those who don't know, Nanite is UE5's virtualized geometry system, which uses new mesh and technology to render pixel scale detail in high object counts, ultimately increasing performance of the games you're making. Within it, it has something called dynamic level of detail, which allows for games such as Ashes of Creation to not scale down polygons as items go out of view. We've all been there in video games where you are wandering through the world and you can see the level of detail in the distance look very low resolution and as you get closer and closer it gets more and more detail until it's fully loaded into your view. Well up to this point Nanite only worked on objects with an Unreal Engine and not the landscapes. So while you could have millions of polygons in an object landscapes still use what we're called level of detail which are those scaled down down polygons we just talked about. In UE 5.3, Nanite now applies to landscapes, which means even those mountains in the background don't need to load in as you get closer. The entire world of Vera can now be filled with millions of polygons, which will increase the detail and immersion of the world, but more importantly, help with the performance of the game, which Ashes of Creation is going to need all the help they can get when they want to put 500 plus players on screen fighting it out over castles. 5.3 is also reintroducing a a UE4 feature that was removed with UE5 called Displacement, which basically is just adding more depth to the landscape, giving it a much more realistic feel. While Ashes of Creation's art team does amazing work, one thing I feel that they have struggled with in these developer updates is fog. In the November Cleric update and the March Carfin update, we see fog and clouds surrounding the environment, and something just did not look right about it. It didn't quite give that realistic feel that you want that we get from the rest of the world, but now with Unreal Engine 5.3, they are adding volumetric fog that will interact with the lighting in the game, giving it a much more realistic feel. And I imagine this will help greatly to improve some of those areas that I felt like the fog was really holding back the beauty of the rest of the world. Beyond those environmental updates though, UE 5.3 brings a skeletal mesh editor, which allows you to create bones for objects and animate them in engine instead of needing to use an external application to do so, which could save some time in development of any game, but especially Ashes when we want to save all the time we can so we can finally play it. There's also the cloth editor which uses AI to animate and make realistic cloth which would be great for a fantasy MMORPG like Ashes of Creation where players will be decked out in capes and cloth armor. And based off the node showcase you really know Steven loves seeing his cape flap around with that high wind on the cloth of the cape so it this could help improve that even more. There has been no confirmation from Intrepid on whether or not they are making this upgrade yet but Steven has said in the past that they will evaluate all engine updates to see if it will benefit the development of Ashes of Creation, and I can see the Nanite landscape in Fog alone being massive upgrades for the game. UE 5.3 has even more updates than this to the engine, but these are the big ones I feel have a huge impact on the visuals in the world of Vera. The other ones I will link below so you guys can check the rest out. Now we just need Intrepid to make those upgrades, especially so we can fix all of those bugged out graphics that 5.1 introduced. I imagine these engine upgrades would be something that we see before the start of Alpha 2 to really give them the best showing of the game they possibly can have. But at the same time, Unreal 5.1 seemed to set Intrepid back significantly at the beginning of the year as that update took several months to transition to, which was a lot longer than they anticipated as they ran into some issues with adapting it. And doing an update like this would more than likely set Alpha 2 even further out of our reach than we were hoping for. Do you want to see Intrepid make that 5.3 upgrade? Drop a comment down below and if you're new to Ashes and have yet to create an account, feel free to use my referral link in the description below where you can then jump in on the forum buy some cosmetics, or just hang out until you can finally step foot into the world of Vera. Otherwise, be sure to click that subscribe button and turn on the bell for notifications so you never miss an Ashes of Creation update.